What's good everybody, I'm back with another standalone video talking about five game series that I would probably buy day one if they had an HD collection. It's been a while since I've done a standalone video. The last videos were like highlights of me and another member in AVI. And it's been a while since, you know, you had Reload just speaking to them. Like, speaking of me, Reload, go subscribe to Reload Select. And if you thought of any other game series I haven't spoke about in this video, I'll make a follow-up video, so let me know based on whatever you say in the comments. Alright, so first up, I want to talk about some No More Heroes. Now, I've seen the 3 trailer, and I love... The fact that Fu is basically just E.T. but with the next letters in the alphabet that's gold and simple at the same time. Like that's genius. And also simple at the same time. I would never have thought of that. Anyway, I love the story, I love the plot line of that game. I can't wait to play three. But I'm not gonna play three unless I play both one and two of No More Heroes. And I never played those games before. I don't even know what the gameplay looks like. I just love how the aesthetic is. I love the music. Killer Be Killed is my favorite theme. I listen to that <laughs> all the time. If Travis was in Smash, I would love to hear a rearranged version of Killer Be Killed. That theme is too good. But yeah, I would. I need to see a HD collection of both of those games. Because if you go on Amazon right now, one is about 60, and it's a Wii game with the, with full, with like the Switch is full price. And then you go to two, and it's even more, it's like over 130. So that's even more like, wow. <laughs> All this for two Wii games, when there could be a whole entire HD collection of both of the games on the Switch for $60. So, you know, I, I, I really want to play those both of those games before 3 comes out. And I know it's coming out, unless it gets delayed, I know it's coming out 2020. So yeah, that's my input on that HD collection. On to the next one. Alright, for this next one... We're talking about Pikmin. Now, Pikmin actually had a rumor going around. I'm not sure if anybody remembers, but there was actually a rumor for 1 and 2 getting an HD collection. But for this, for what I want to talk about, I actually want all three of the games getting an HD collection. Like getting a whole trilogy on the Switch. Now, I don't know. I would be perfectly fine if they just did 1 and 2. But 3 feels just as important to be on there, so that's that's just me saying that I want a trilogy. I'll be totally fine with 1 and 2 though. But anyway, kind of similar to No More Heroes, I haven't really played this game, but except for that one time where, you know, you know how you go into a Target and there's a setup <laughs> of the Wii U and you play Pikmin 3. That's literally what I did, so I technically played that game. But when I did play that game, I was hooked on it. It's like Pikmin feels like that game that's so odd and obscure that you would probably never get into but once you lay your eyes on it it's so gravitating and you get interested in it for some reason it's like whoa what's happening so yeah I if there was an HD collection I would definitely purchase that day one or at least within the first week of its release I would definitely purchase that game Okay, next on this list is Persona 1 and 2, but before we get into that, the reason why you are hearing a Persona 5 theme is because I am too scared of getting booted out of existence by playing uh, one of those themes and then Atlas, you know, the copyright gods over at Atlas strikes my video or takes it down or does something like that. So I'm going to just play it safe and just play Pyramid from Persona 5. You know, I'm not too sure how what the situation is with if they allow it now or not and if they do like I don't know I'm just I'm not taking that risk so I would love to play one of the themes from Persona 2 but no anyway back to the topic at hand I want a trilogy 
you heard me a trilogy not of persona one two and three no i want the true trilogy of the classic old persona games one two innocent sin and two eternal punishment that is the true trilogy i know people would say like what what are you talking about but there's two persona games and those two persona games are persona 2 plus one that would be the trilogy and i would love that that would be perfect that would show that atlas cares about those old games and that would really mean something because not too long ago they released a survey and within that survey they showed no love to one and two i literally have a screenshot of like this section talking about like pick these games that you've heard of and it's like wow it's almost like they can't count <laughs> it's almost like they can't count or or believe it or not you're not you're not gonna believe this man they just don't care about one and two and it's sad because i feel like those those three games you know two uh one two and then a ton of punishment are underappreciated and they deserve a lot more love and that would that would really satisfy, you know, the SMT slash Persona One and Two fans. That would really be something if they were to make an HD collection of those two games, of those three games, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, on to the next one. Okay, I'm gonna make this part short because if I talk about Sonic for too long, this video is gonna be at least like 40 minutes. So, all right, for this one, we're, we want a we want a Sonic Adventure one and two remake. Did I say remake? No, I meant a remaster. A remaster HD collection would be perfect. Now I know a lot of people want a remake of Adventure One, and there's been rumors, and there's been leaks, and there's been people talking about it. There's been so much hype over this and so many things pointing to it actually happening, but we haven't seen anything yet. We were expecting it to either be at maybe, you know, when his 29th hit or at the New Game Plus event, but none of those things happened, which is weird. Very weird. I, I don't think that there's going to be a remake. I mean, probably the chances of a remake versus a... Uh, collection you know like a something similar to a Sega ages might be like 70% I don't I doubt that they're gonna remake it I'm probably just gonna make an HD collection and then reveal like their new Sonic game hopefully Adventure 3 but yeah that's just my opinion on it like my predictions I, I really doubt that it's gonna be a remake it'll be nice if it was though because if there's any between Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 to be remade i would definitely root for that adventure one because that game is that there needs to be some gameplay fixes in that game to say the least <laughs> to say the least there needs to be some gameplay fixes i think i like uh when it comes to gameplay i like adventure 2 a lot more and i feel like adventure 2 doesn't really need to be remade it'll be nice if it was remade but nah like an hd collection of both of the games would be nice some some uh, graphical changes make it look nice, polish it up a bit. Also, maybe change some of the gameplay, like have some gameplay fixes in it. Get rid of some stuff that makes the game a little unfun, especially for Big the Cat's segments and <laughs> his segments in that game. Like I don't know, something like that, or change up the uh, the radar system within uh, the the Master Emerald pieces. Like finding those things where they're like so boring. Well, so boring, but also fun because you get to listen to the nice music. Uh, the the mechanics of Knuckles and Rouge is really good. I can say at least for me, my experience in playing those zones were pretty fun. Because playing as Knuckles is always fun. You get to glide around this huge map. That was pretty awesome. But I think I've talked about Sonic for too long. <laughs> Let's, let's go on to the next game, and the final game actually. Alright, for the very last one, we're going to be talking about Banjo. And when we're talking about Banjo HD Collection, when I think about that, 
I usually like to think about how it should be like a huge graphical upgrade, but you get to toggle between the two. So if you like the classic N64, you can go to that. But if you want to experience a new type of banjo experience, like something on par to like Crash, you know, Insane Trilogy or Reignited with Spyro games, now that was going down. I would like to say I would, I would like to really see that. I like to see that. So you can just toggle between the two. And also, I know Xbox and Nintendo has been, you know, getting like a little buddy buddy with each other. Get that quick switch port for the one time, but you know, that's just that's just the dream right there. It would be really cool though, because they definitely did put Cuphead on the Switch. So it's not too far off from imagining. You know, Banjo gets a HD collection of one and two, -y. and then you, there's also a Switch port. Like that's not too far off. But guys, besides that, I think we're done. At least I'm done. If anybody else has any game franchises, franchises, these franchises, yeah, any game, any game series that I have not talked about, I, pr I probably could have named a few more. Like I got some stuff off the top of my head, but I will not say it yet. Because I want to make a new video, or I might not, I don't know. It's up, it's completely up to me. It's also up to whatever creative minds are out there that are typing right now. Letting me know what I missed. So, yeah, go ahead and do that. Tell me what I missed exactly. Tell me what godlike series I should have talked about. And I'll make a follow-up to this. Possibly later on, I'm not sure when. But it'll, it'll probably come out, I don't know. Go subscribe to Relo and every other member in AVIPVG, and I'm off for now. I live stream, by the way. I suck at Game Arts 2, so I'm holding off on that game. But I'm out. <laughs>